Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and I'm starting a new year with a series of awesome alien astronauts. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you this fast and fun Linework Space Alien Balloon Model, starting us off with the basics of cosmonaut construction. However, I am really just preparing you for the deluxe alien astronauts to come. This one's got wriggling prehensile tentacles, a detailed two-tone spacesuit. He even looks good from the back, and I have a ton of other ideas, including putting a jetpack on him and LED lights, so there will be more tutorials to come, even more than these two right here. But for now, it all begins with the line work spaceman. This model consists of three 260s for the spacesuit, and I chose spring lilac for my model, this one's white, and a green 260, that's going to be the alien's hands there. For the gun, you're going to need a silver 160, just one. We use uh, every bit of the balloon to construct this thing. And to finish off, we're going to need two 5-inch rounds. One will be a printed alien head, and the other will be a diamond clear for the space helmet. To start things off, you're going to notice that this 5-inch round is inside of this 5-inch round. How do we do it? Well, I have a pretty simple technique. All you have to do is just get it down. You twist it. Make sure it's nice and twisted, just like that. And uh, you take the twisted portion of the alien's head and you stick it directly into the open mouth of this 5-inch clear. And you twist a little bit, just trying to get basically a little portion of that alien's head in. Once it's in, you grab the alien's head through the balloon. And I know this sounds it seems counterintuitive, but you pull down. And look at that. All of a sudden, it's inside. So, that's the trick. It may take a little practice to get that down, but the idea is get a little bit of the alien's head in there and pull it down. It'll suck itself down into that helmet. Okay, now that we've done that, the next step is making the basic uh, form of the spacesuit here. This is only two of the uh, three 260s that we're going to use, but the extra 260 makes the back portion as well as uh, basically just bringing it all together, the feet and the back. You could do this with two balloons, but I like doing it with three. I think it just works out a lot better. So grab your two 260s, just like that. Blow them up to maybe halfway, maybe just a little bit more. And you do the same thing with both of them right away. Two pinch twists. And this is where you're going to attach the alien's hands. So do that now. We're going to go over to about a three finger bubble, maybe a little bit bigger than three fingers. And a small pinch twist. Another three to three and a half finger bubble like that. And then a large pinch twist. This is going to be the shoulder and it will hold everything together. Now you just do the same exact thing with this balloon. Two small pinch twists. Three to three and a half finger bubble. Small pinch twist for the elbow. Another three to three and a half finger bubble. And the big shoulder. Okay, we're going to connect these two, and the front and the back of the neck are going to be two different sizes. Let me show you. We start out with about a four finger bubble, okay, and you're going to stick this shoulder into that groove right there. Let's stick it in and make sure it looks all nice. You're going to come back with the longer balloon, and this time you're actually going to make about a four and a half to five finger bubble. It needs to be a little bit bigger. It pushes the arms forward and it just makes the design work out a lot better. Okay, all twisted together. You align your arms, make sure everything's nice and secure. Just like this. You're going to come down on either side. I would say maybe five and a half fingers for each of these bubbles. Let's measure it out about five and a half or so. At that length. So match it up on the other side. There we go. And tie it together right here. Now you may have noticed on the design that I showed you there is no belt and there are no pinch twists here. This is just how I like to construct it because it just it's faster and um, I, I don't like having to add uh, another portion here as a belt to, to hold it all together because a lot of the time it'll just suck forward and the whole design will fall apart. So how do we counter this? Well just stick one of the balloons through the middle and at this point what you have here is something that isn't going to come undone even though it looks like it should. So on to the legs. Legs are uh, pretty much the same thing, only this time it's about four fingers 
for the bubble. The legs are supposed to be significantly longer than the arms. Make a small pinch twist, and then one that's a little bit bigger, because for the knees, you want to be able to control where the legs go. It just makes it a little easier. So a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. Take that through. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, match it up. Forget about that. One a little larger, and one a little smaller. Put it together, get these bottom parts coming down. Now this is going to be the rest of the leg. And, and this is perfect, about five fingers. So just tie it off and do the same thing on the other side. About five fingers, tie it off, and make sure you have a little bit of extra. In fact, get a pair of scissors and cut this off to half because you don't need too much. Uh, tail on the end of these legs. All right, that's the basic space suit right there. Grab your third 260 and we'll start right on the feet, making a pedal twist, tying it through, followed by a nice sized pinch twist. That'll be the first foot. And we'll tie that directly to the leg. Tie it all the way through. You don't have to make a knot if you do it right. And we make a little connection part so that the legs are stabilized. And just reverse what we just did. Big pinch twist, pedal twist. So now you got two feet. There's that. Now pop this up, but you're going to need to save this. This is going to be the other portion of the suit. I'm going to set this to the side for now. Tie this through, make sure it's nice and tight. And going every which way. And then tie it in with the other leg. Okay, perfect. Looking good. The legs are strong and connected. And the big pinch twist of the two is in the front to create the knee. All right? Inflate your alien's head. But yeah, you have to make sure that, uh, since this is two balloons in one, you have to make sure that the alien's head is smaller and there's enough space so that you can inflate your diamond clear and create that space helmet look. So. As you can see, I've separated the two nozzles. This one's done, tied. Now, you have to stick the pump in to the side here. Just be careful not to pop the balloon there while you're doing it. And once it's on, you inflate the clear now. That's a wretched sound, but there it is. Tie it off. Tie both nozzles together. Just like that. Cool, there's the head. We'll throw the pump over there. Now we're going to attach the head. And to do that, we take our scrap purple. Tie that directly onto the part that you ripped off. Tie it together. Tightly. You don't want any slack really. You want everything positioned. You don't even have to cut these off. It'll be hidden in the actual design. Okay. So just pop that through. Not pop literally, but stick that through and create the... You can have this coming down in the front or in the back. It doesn't really matter. Just tie it off third bubble, creating a full chest, and whoa, we're going to want to pop that off, <laughs> there's our excess, cool, that is your alien in the spacesuit with the head attached, but of course we have to put on those hands, and then the gun, but I'm almost thinking about leaving out, but um, I really think I should teach you how to do it. I already have a bunch of laser gun tutorials, but uh, not one that only uses a single 160, so I should do that. Anyway, pedal twist, just like the feet, but you rip off part of it. Save this, because we're going to make the other hand. And tie this around all the way through. Just make sure there's a little bit left of that tail, because that's going right into these pinch twists. So just do the same thing with the rest of the balloon, make another hand exactly the same way, and tie it in just like that. I know I've called this a line work design. It is, trust me. All you have to do, pre-make these, stick them in an airtight container or a bag or something, have them on the side, and you will be able to bust these guys out like nobody's business. But the pre-mades are key, and I use that on a lot of designs when I'm actually working. So let's throw this guy to the side. And we start off pretty standard stuff, just a tulip twist to create the uh, muzzle of the gun. And tie that off. 
Once you've done that and gotten a new position, you're going to make a 12 finger cylinder twist. So 4, 8, 12, maybe even 13 just to be safe. And once you've got that, you're going to pop off both sides. Let some air out of that one. And of course, tie off your main part of your gun here. Okay. And we're going to be folding this over like this and wrapping around twice with the remainder of the balloon. Like so. Begin with a handle, the first handle. You're going to make two tiny pinch twists. One and two. And this will be wrapped directly around the cylinder twist we just made. So bend this over. You want to have this on top and the muzzle pointing forward a little bit over this part. Start from the back and you're just going to wrap around like this. Over. And you're going to twist it into those two little pinch twists very carefully. Ugh, right like that. Okay, and the rest of the balloon will be going forward in this way so we can make the next twists. Make a small bubble, about that size, and two more tiny pinch twists. One and two. Cool. And we're going to wrap around again. Again, carefully because it's not only a 160, but these are really tight twists you have to do. Okay, you can see that. Cool. Tie it around those pinch twists, and you're going to come out through the two, creating the second handle. Like that. And it's up to you whether you want to pop off or just leave it really long. This even could be considered a clip for the gun. And if you want to get a little creative, maybe just put a little ball. Manipulate the hand and arm however you want for him to hold the gun. I usually do it in such a way that his arm is angled kind of downward and the gun is pointing straight. That's just how I like to do it, but you can do it any way you want. Thank you so much for joining me on this. Uh, I, I'm still calling it a line work space, man. You can get this guy down in three minutes if you have the gun pre-made and if you practice. And uh, I have a ton more aliens on the way. You saw the big guy in the beginning. That's coming up soon. I've got an angel costume coming up. All sorts of great things. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, please subscribe to Balloon Sage here on YouTube.